Barrow Raiders are today's visitors here at the DIY Kitchen Stadium and it's the quarter-final of the AB Sundex 1895 Trophy. For today's winners, a trip to either the Bradford Bulls or Swinton Lions in the semi-final. Darrell Powell has made a couple of changes to the Trinity side. Josh Griffin moves from the back row into the centre to replace Jack Croft, who's 18th man. Getting his first start for the club after two from the bench, it's Isaiah Vangana. And Renu Fatone is back from the bench to start the game. So it's Max Jarrett at full-back. Romain Franco, Josh Griffin, Ollie Pratt and Lachlan Wormsley. Miles Warford will partner Luke Gale at half-back. And in the pack it's Josh Bowden, Liam Hood, Renu Fatone, Maddy Ashurst, Isaiah Vangana and Jay Pitts. On the bench, Kayla Buela, Matthew Kosa returns, Harvey Smith and Noah Booth. He's back after that game he played against the uh, Newcastle Thunder across there at the Millennium Stadium in Featherston. Two former Trinity players in the Barrow Raiders side. Luke Creswell's at fullback, Ryan Shaw, Matt Costello, Shane Toll, and Max Anderson Moore, the three quarter line. Brad Walker's one of the former Trinity players at halfback with Ryan Johnson. And in the pack, Tom Walker, you remember the ginger head, Josh Wood playing for Trinity, Ed Hooker and Ramon Selva. Max Clark, Charlie Elmsley, and Tom Wilkinson, the back three. On the bench for uh, Paul Carey's side, Aaron Smith, Harvey Makin, Greg Burke, the former Wigan man, and Delaney Bedward. Referee to complete the picture is Liam Rush. Thanks for joining me, TC. And cameraman Andy Davis. That's a nice kick from the referee. Nearly a 40 20, Andy. Little bit of an unknown quantity for me, but I can't remember the last time I saw them play. Club colours are blue and white, but they're in a basically. Basically, an all-black strip. A little, little bit of a gold tim, trim as Max Jarrett gets the game underway. The forwards will no doubt work together, but there are four Trinity defenders taking the barrel man towards his near touchline side. Gingerhead Wood, head acting half-back, sends the pass to the right, but not playing the ball correctly. Here we are, second play of the ball of the afternoon, and here we go again. I hope that's not going to be my little grouse all season. I really do. But the players have got to learn. The referees have been told they've got to be seen to be attempting to play the ball, as Josh Griffin has done now. And Van Gennar drives onto the 10-metre line. Great chance for Trinity to get the perfect start. Josh Bowden's the next drive. And it's a back to one instead of six. Bowden goes close. Short pass, try under the post, is it, for uh, Van Gennar. Renault Fatone, he's, in a, he's a rich try score in vain. Is uh, Renault Fatone is on the bench last week and with just one minute on the clock, Trinity have taken the lead at four points to nil. Sponsored by Stephen and Susan Dawson. Perfect pass from Liam Hood, a Tony the try scorer. And that's from a silly, silly penalty. And talking about players being in a rich vein of form, this goal kicker is of ours, Max Jow, 13 from 13 last week. Five from five at the start of the game against Newcastle Thunder. And this one couldn't be easier, could it? Right under the post. Sponsored by Beat Autism. 6-0 Trinity lead the Barrow Raiders. Not the start they would have wanted. The wingman Ryan Shaw to get the game back underway. Over 1,400 points in his rugby league career. The winger goes deep. Last week's man of the match. Miles Lawford gathers the ball and here comes Josh Bowden. Met by Tom Wilkinson, the loose forward, wearing number 15. And as usual, Liam Hood clapping his hands. Try scorer Tony directs the next drive, pushes off one. Josh Wood goes in hard. 
down the short side with Luke Gale, gap. Asher's through that gap as he got support on his inside. Just losing his footing a bit was uh, Trinity skipper Matty Ashurst. Chance to bring it wide to the right. This is Pitts. Crosses the 30 metre line centre. Continue to go to right with Lawford. Short pass to Vangener. That's the last tackle, 11 metres out. Six again. It was the last tackle and they've given another six to Trinity. Oh, that's poor discipline from the visitors. It really is. Inside ball, the Tony's, the new for Tony's already scored when he fancied a brace. Gale switched it from left to right. Lawford has to reach Jarrett into the line. The dummy from the fullback. There's a gap. Max Jarrett scores 10 metres in from this right corner flag. And again, after poor discipline from the visitors, Trinity now lead 10 points to nil after Max Jowett's try, sponsored by Beat Autism. And my support says we played just four minutes. I wonder what Barrow Raiders coach Paul Carey will be thinking now. Gifting Trinity with the ball twice. And they've made the visitors suffer with a couple of tries. Gale did well. He switched play from left to right. He created that extra man and that little bit of space for Jowett. Very precise with his setup, is Max. Just about ready. Good shot of this one. Looks good from here. Straight between the posts from close to this right touchline side. And again, still sponsored by Beat Autism. Two from two, Trinity lead Barrow Raiders, 12 points to nil. Restart again from Shaw. Walford says that's mine and Tony's ready to come on the charge. Here he comes. Tom Walker, the front row forward, stood his ground, didn't he? Met him square on. This is Van Gennar. Oh, and he's got the ball out in that right arm, ready for the supporting player that didn't materialise. This is Bowden now. Pitts playing tight again in that centre, centre of the field. Right on the halfway line, Pitts. Lawford just chips it over the wingman. Oh, turns and gathers. Good line of defenders. Lawford was there first, the kicker. Shane Toll, the centre, takes the drive. And the opposite centre, Matt Costello, the former St. Talons and Salford man, takes the next drive. But he hasn't reached the 40 metre line. Josh Woodard acting half back. Charlie Elmsley, he does cross the 40 metre line. Deep pass from uh, Josh Wood. Max allows the ball to bounce and sends the pass inside to Romain Franco for his first touch. Beats the first man. Second man goes a little bit high for me, but a referee allows play to go on. Max Clark, it was. Alex Wal um, Lachlan Walmsley's coming from his, uh, from his wing for his first touch and crosses the 30 metre line, centre field. 
Josh Griffin snuck him from his centre position as well. He wants a drive. Ten metres short of the halfway line. <coughs> Good build up this from Trinity Lawford. Van Gennar. Just across the halfway line. Scooped up by Liam Hood. Good skill from Liam Hood. Pitts beats the first defender. Former playing colleague Josh Wood. Last tackle. Short side with Lawford. He's going to go high. Full back Luke Creswell in the protective headgear. And another straight wall of Trinity defenders. Good kick. Good positional play. Keep them there inside their own 10. Wingman Shaw loses his footing right under the post. And it's Trinity's turn to give possession away. They've gone offside, so it'll be easy metres for the visitors. As the rain starts to come down, it was raining all morning here in West Yorkshire. Five metres short of the halfway line, just right of centre. Josh Wooded acting halfback. Takes it to the right for Brad Walker. 31 games for Trinity back in 2020, 2020, 2022. Barrow in possession in Trinity's half with second row forward Charlie Elmsley, the blonde haired player, crossing the 40 metre line. 12 mil, remember, Trinity lead. Walker looking for the runners, that's not the best of passes. Franco gathers, but he didn't have a clear run. But Trinity are back in possession, leading 12-0 and starting this set of six right on the halfway line. Griffin with the short pass to Jowett. Bowden with the drive, rather a flat pass from uh, Lawford. Trinity already inside the Barrow 30 metre zone and there have met plenty of tackles in this set of six. No way through for Jay Pitts. Loses a couple of metres and more. Courtesy of the tackle from Ramon Silva. The, he's a born in Brazil was Silva. Hood away from acting half back. Pushes one off. Can't push the second two off. But he's taking play on the last tackle and in on the 10 metre line. Scruffy play the ball. He's blown his He's gonna let Hood play it again. Pitts has gone in and acting half back rather than Van Gennar. Short side with Jowett, little chip through. One of the Barrow Raiders players has dropped on the ball. So again, it's a matter of keep him here. Shaw the first drive, he's coming from his right wing. Anderson Moore, the left winger with the next drive. Short side again. Ooh, bit of juggling from the Barrow player. Lawford, Van Gennar and Pitts, the three Trinity defenders. Tom Walker with the drive. Three on two here for the Barrow. A kick, a couple of players and a, a Tony... Cleans up, drops on the ball, five metres inside the Trinity half. Franco the drive. Wormsley away from the first and loses his foot in. Ollie Pratt, first time we've mentioned him, other than giving the team sheet. He's another that's coming looking for a bit of work. Pitts looking for the runners. This is Miles Lawford inside to Van Gennar. Last tackle, 32, 33 metres out. Hood down the short side with Lawford, who's going to go high again. Luke Creswell gathers, goes down on his knees, right, well, about five metres from his own goal line. No way through for Matt Costello. In fact, he's been taken back towards his goal line. That's good defence, Trinity. Liam Hood and Jay Pitts. Short side again for the visitors. J. 
Chip over from Walker. It's a chase on for Shaw. Shaw gathers this. He's got space. Shaw's through the gap. Gets the pass inside. Now it goes to nobody. And Romain Franco says, thanks very much indeed. Good play by Barry. Inventive kick. Shaw took the pass. Took the kick, rather, but then sent the bad pass back inside. Matthias just with the next carry into three defenders. That's a good tackle on Josh Bowden. Max Clark, the defender. Short pass from Luke Gale. Oh, and Tony was turning as if to offload. Pitt's heavily involved. Well, that's not the best of passes. Jarrett cleans up eventually. I think it was meant for Miles Lawford. Van Gennard drives and then offloads. Oh, did he just lose the ball? It's anybody's ball. Kicking on Luke Gale. Oh, he doesn't gather it. Walker does and then offloads right in front of his post. Matt Costello, the centre, finds the full-back, Creswell. Struggling to get out of their own quarter, of Barrow. Used to be Barrow Border Raiders, isn't it? I wonder when the border, the border part of it disappeared. Barrow Raiders now. In possession. Left footer kick from Scrum Half Johnston. Bounces kindly for Max Jowett. A bit of space for Franco. No, it's high step straight back into Ryan Johnston. A few Trinity players walking back. Fifteen minutes now on my watch. It seems an absolute age since Trinity scored on the first and on the fourth minute. Ashurst with the drive. Good defence by Elmsley, the second row forward, and a couple of his colleagues. In fact, Elmsley's taking a knock. Went in hard on Matty Ashurst. So whilst there's a little bit of a lull in play for the treatment, a reminder that next Sunday it's back into the Challenge Cup and we visit our near neighbours. In fact, our nearest neighbours are the Featherson Rovers across at the Millennium Stadium. Three o'clock kick-off next Sunday. And it's not too long before Bradford Bulls will be here on the 15th of March here at the DIY Kitchen Stadium for the opening league game in the Championship. Well, he sat up as the Barrow player, which is a good sign. Perhaps a head assessment. So much publicity now in the game of rugby league about protection of the head. Got to give him all the opportunities to receive the correct type of treatment. They'll get a round of applause, no doubt, when he gets back on his feet, which he does now. Charlie Elmsley. There's a round of applause from the Trinity faithful and the few Barrow fans that have come over. So continuing play, Madashas plays the ball. Pitts finds Renu for Tony, who crosses the halfway line. Harvey Makin has replaced uh, the injured player, Elmsley. And a kick from Luke Gale. Ten metres from the Barrow line.
championship side, of course, Barrow. So we'll be seeing them a couple of times in the regular season. Wooded acting half-back. That's good defence. Oh, hang on a minute. It's penalised Trinity for perhaps a high tackle, was it? Into the knockout stages, Barrow, by courtesy of victories over their Cumbrian neighbours, Whitehaven and Workington. Of course, Trinity beat York and Newcastle. Convincingly. Brad Walker has found touch. Restart from Costello. Rain gets a bit heavier. Offload from Walker, half-back partner Johnson has to juggle, lost the momentum. And it's a fairly straightforward tackle from uh, Van Gennar. Ramon Silva. But they've carried the ball to about 32 metres from the Trinity line. It's Josh Wood this time clapping his hands. Johnston, who will offer it to track back and make the tackle on Max Clark. 20 metres out on the last tackle. Where's the kicker? Ryan Johnson's at first receiver of the scrum half. Little chip up. Should be Max Jowett's on the goal line. In the in-goal area. And then he gets one at the back of the head for his uh, efforts. And the player says, sorry, sir. And Max is quick to take the tap. And it's a seven-tackle situation with the tap and the drive from Josh Griffin. Now it's six tackles. Franco's coming from his wing, left side of Liam Hood. <laughs> Liam Hood's not happy. Inside ball from Luke Gale to Ollie Pratt. Stutters and then loses a, that little bit of momentum himself. No signs of any substitutes warming up from either of the two sides at the minute. A Tony seen a space on the left. That's good defence. The ball's gone to ground. It's a knock on. Good defence, Barrow. Remains 12 0. Head and ball to the visitors right on the centre spot. Wood at the base brings it to the left to centre to Toad. Pits in quickly with Griffin and uh, Franco. Wooded acting half back, Ryan Johnson at first receiver. Dummy from Harvey making. Van Gennarin with that left shoulder to defend. Burke with the offload, short pass. Kicking to the corner, Walmsley gathers his right as his goal line. Has he got the ball back into the field of play? Yes, he has. Well done, Alex Walmsley. Trinity ready to make the first substitution of the afternoon. And it's Caleb Uela that's coming on. And it's Josh Bowden that's going off. Well played, Josh Bowden. Walmsley taking the next carry. Penalty Trinity on the 30 metre line.
Just when Barrow was mounting a little bit of pressure on the Trinity defence. Luke Gale's going to find touch with a good kick. He's taking play about eight metres inside the Barrow half. And Josh Griffin will restart with the tap and the drive from Van Gennar. Wood went low. Caleb Oela with his first touch of the ball crosses the 30 metre line. Hooded acting half back looking for the runners. Tony can't get through the gap but he's carried the ball to within 11 metres. Great build up this from Trinity and another great chance to score. Pates the short ball to Uela. He's hit the post, he's on the post, can he get the ball down? No he can't, he's on his back, he'll play the ball on the 10 metre line. Going left with Luke Gale, cut out pass to Pratt and then Pratt sends the pass. Oh, it's not a good pass, Golly Pratt. Meant for Walmsley, it went behind Walmsley. Keep your head up, Ollie. Twenty-four and a half minutes on my watch with at least two minutes stoppage time, of course, following the injury to Charlie Elmsley. Twelve nil it remains. Defence is good. Short side again. This is Burke. Turns his right shoulder into the defenders. Played at Wigan, did Greg Burke, of course. 31 year old. Silver with the drive. Ooh, Liam Hood met him with his right shoulder. Clings on, makes a tackle. Just two or three metres inside the Trinity's half. And that was the last tackle. And it's the kick from Brad Walker. Walmsley gathers on the 10 metre line. Round of applause from the North Standers. Ollie Pratt trying to make recompense for that bad pass. Walmsley with a hint of a dummy to the right. Oh, that's a high tackle around the neck, surely. Play on, says the referee. Liam Rush. And well into the tackle count. Barrow Raiders have gone offside just short of the halfway line. It's a chance for Trinity to build more pressure on the visitors. Luke Gale finds touch. Josh Griffin to restart. Van Gennar finds Oela. Trying to throw the defenders off before he loses half his shirt. And Tony, putting big minutes in his renew for Tony. 12 out, centre field. Options for Liam Hood, he brings it back to the right. Dummy inside, Lawford has to reach and loses possession. And a penalty for laying on too long, Miles Lawford. Josh Griffin can't believe it. Misa, never. Ryan Johnson finds touch. Another substitute for... Uh, the visitors, Josh Wood has gone to the dugout. You can hear these tackles going in, that one was on Harvey making. Aaron Smith has come on for Josh Wood. And it's Smith that's gone in and acting halfback with Brad Walker at first receiver. Here he is. Burke, the offload tipped on. 
still on the ground. Franco came in quickly. Ooh, a bit of space for the wingman. It's the last tackle. I wonder if they've counted it. Walker has surely with a kick into the corner. Bounces kindly for Lachlan Walmsley, but can't get away from the defenders. Tackling well at the minute are the visitors, Barrow Raiders. They're keeping Trinity to that score of 12-0. Matty Ashurst, a rare touch. Matthew, Matthew Coase is on and he takes a drive. He's replaced Renou for Tony. Missed last week's game because of a, a bad ankle and he doesn't play the ball correctly. So it's a turnover. Barrow will start their set of six, five metres inside Trinity's half. They injured his uh, ankle, didn't he, in the last couple of minutes over at Feathers when we were playing Newcastle. Did Matthew Coates miss last week's game, but he's back out there now. He'll be looking forward to next week, won't he? Challenge Cup, Feathers and Rovers. Aaron Smith at acting halfback. This is Johnston, the inside ball to back row forward Max Clark. Carries it across the 30 metre line. Lawford was low. Awela and Van Gana upper body defending. Silva, Ramon Silva. Good position this for the visitors. Smith brings it back to Johnson on the left. Full back into the line. Creswell has to go back inside. He was tracked by Josh Bowden, uh, by Josh Griffin rather. Sorry, Griff. We can hear him going in and making these tackles. Inside the 20 and on the last tackle, Walker's first receiver. He's going to bring it back to their left. Right, Romain Franco. Knocked on by the Barrow, border ra by the Barrow Raiders. Tap 20. The Barrow player's got above Franco. Franco takes the drive and then offloads to Griffin. Not sure Griff was expecting that one. Bad over keenness and they've gone offside. So another relieving kick from about eight metres inside the Trinity half. Twelve nil. Scored in the first minute. Scored in the fourth. Haven't scored since. Coach Daryl Powell said they were they were ready to be tested. Well, they're certainly being tested this afternoon. Van Gennard knocks on at the first. Uh, First tackle in this set of six. Space for uh, Anderson Moore down this left touchline side. Lawford got across and made the tackle. Oh, I bet he felt that. Shane Toll, the centre, plays the ball. Chip again for the far man, for Ryan Shaw. Anybody's ball, Holmes has missed it. Barrow in possession, 12 metres out. Trinity going to have to get back and defend this now. Offside, Oli Pratt chase the centre. About four metres out. Held up in the in-goal area. Delaney Bedwards on the uh, substitute. I would imagine Elmsley's failed the head assessment. Here comes Bedwood. Five out. Smith deep to Johnston. This is Walker and the offload to back row forward. Clark. Still five metres from Trinity's line, north stand end. Hint of a dummy from substitute Harvey making, but Trinity defenders not taking that. Smith comes back to the left, show and go from the hooker to within two metres. Last tackle. Toller acting half back, kick from Johnston. Come on, Lachlan. Taking in the goal there, and this is going to be the third 
20 metre restart in this half. Tap and go from Lachlan Walmsley. Pratt with the drive. Bit of shirt pulling, but it was effective from substitute Bedwood. Awayla turns his right shoulder into the tackle right on the halfway line. Jay Pitt stopped, turned, it was met by Ryan Johnson. Gail Lawford short ball, Matty Ashurst almost through the gap. Gail with the inside ball to Kotze, he's crossed the 30 metre line. Last tackle, about 25 metres out. Gail takes it back to the left. Where's uh, Lachlan Walmsley? There's a bit of shoulder charging, is there? Ball still on the ground. Penalty. Penalty to Barrow. Bit of obstruction, says referee. Six minutes on my watch with a little bit of stoppage time. Still 12-0. Smith had acting half back, pass to the left of Burke, Greg Burke. This substitute's working hard, Harvey making. He's put to ground just short of the halfway line by Coatser and Hood. Aaron Smith's trying to struggle away and make another couple of metres. Full back Creswell had acting half back. Walker's gone high. Who's going to put a name on this one? Franco does and he does well. Well done, Romain Franco. Griffin with the next drive. Terrier like defending from the visitors. Pratt with the next carry. Comes back into the heavy traffic though. Hood away from acting halfback with that one handed pick up. And Griffin crosses the halfway line for Trinity. Can Luke Gale bring a bit of spark into the Trinity attack? He sends the pass inside to skipper Ashurst. Now it's pitched to offload to Coatser. Lawford with the kick through. Remain Franco gathers Griffin. Griffin with a try. Well done, Romain Franco. It was a cruel, cruel bounce. Josh Griffin, sponsored by M&M &M Engineering. It's his second 1895 try of the season. And they've scored in the 36th minute. Taking them 32 minutes to make it 16 points to nil. Cruel bounce for the visiting Barrow Raiders. But Franco did well to get possession and he did even better to offload the ball in the tackle. Just wonder what that'll do. So close to half time to the Barrow Raiders defenders because they have defended well for the last half an hour nearly. Taking his time is Max. So we've just to see uh, two subs, Harvey Smith and Noah Booth, the two youngsters. This kick about 18 metres in from this right touchline side.
Max Jowett, sponsored by Beat Autism, makes it three conversions from three. And the lead for Trinity of 18 points to Barrow Raiders nil. That's a bit better into 18 nil as opposed to 12 nil. Ryan Shaw again restarts. That's not gone quite as deep, but Lawford's is going to gather it, and here comes Oela. Good drive from the front row forward, and again Liam Wood clapping his hands. Pitts with the next one. Spins in the tackle, onto the 30 metre line. Coates with the next drive onto the 40 metre line and just beyond. Pitts again in this set of six. Try score a Griffin. No way through for Ulela on the last tackle, 30 metres out. Lawford goes high again, fullback Creswell waits. Gathers this on the full, but only a couple of metres from his own goal line. Carrying him back towards his own goal line. Anderson Moore makes about two metres, if that. They've used up the tackles of Barrow. It's going to be a kick from the boot of the former Trinity man, Brad Walker. Franco eventually takes the ball. My stopwatch says we're in stoppage time. Two or three minutes maybe as Griffin looks for somebody to come on his left shoulder. There's nobody there, so he takes the drive inside the Barrow half. Walmsley again has come looking. Pitts short pass. Van Gunner turn. Forward pass, says the referee. Not sure about that one, but they. The man in the middle knows best. The man in the green shirt. Max Jarrett just having a word with his two wingmen, ready to drop back because they've used that uh, kick and chase at Barrow, haven't they, earlier in the game. Johnson to feed the scrum. Well, Centre does well, Matt Costello gets the pass to Ryan Shaw, but there's no way through on the 30 metre line. Max Clark with the next drive, the back row forward. A little chip through the gap from uh, Walker to Johnson and a kick and chase again. Romain Franco's got to get back. He's got the pace as Franco, nice. Oh, he puts a boot to ball and kicks it across the dead ball line. It'll be a goal line dropout. Eventive play by the two halfbacks from Barrow Raiders, but the referee will blow the half-time hooter. Started brilliantly for Trinity when the visitors lost the ball at the first play, the ball for not playing it correctly. And Renu Fatoni crashed in from a lame hood pass. Max Joy then joined the line on four minutes after the six again and scored on the fourth minute. But then we had to wait till the 36th minute when Josh Griffin latched onto a Franco pass and scored wide out on the right hand side. Max Joy was inch perfect with his goal kick in. Three from three and a half time here at the DIY Kitchen Stadium in the quarter final. The 1895 trophy sees it Trinity 18, Barrow Rangers nil.
Matty Ashurst leads Trinity out for the second 40 minutes in this quarter final of the AB Sundex 1895 trophy. Leading visitors Barrow Raiders 18 points to nil at half time. No sign of Harvey Smith or Noah Booth at this stage. The two Trinity subs not used. And here come the visitors. <laughs> Mentioned at the start of the game that the, the winners will take on either the Bradford Bulls or the Swinton Lions, it will be at either Bradford or Swinton, the semi-final of the 1895 trophy. And that, that game, that won't be played until the weekend of the 11th and 12th of May. So there's a, a break because, of course, the championship starts in a couple of weeks. So something to look forward to for the winners. Can only 18 points to nil in Trinity's favour. Last on the whistle from Liam Rush. And Ryan Shaw gets the second half underway and Trinity with the first carry. Van Gennard turns his shoulder into the tackle from substitute Harvey Makin. And a quick play of the ball from Van Gennard. This is Matthew Coatser. Back down the short side. No way through for Matty Ashurst. Jay Pitts with the carry. Across the halfway line. Three in at the tackle. Keen again. Lawford with another kick. Creswell waits. Gathers on the 10 metre line. And Max Jarrett's the first defender there. Jarrett again defending. Now you've got to get back, Max. Anderson Moore carries the ball almost onto the 30. Johnson finds half back partner Walker running it wide. Short tries to step inside, Walms in, does so. Centre Ollie Pratt came across and made the tackle. Away goes Costello with the offload. Last tackle just inside the barrow half. Walker will kick. He rushed that a bit with the uh, charge down from Kosa and Ashurst. Franco will retrieve the power 10 metres from his own goal line and it's a 10 metre carry up towards a 20 metre line. No way through for Walms. He's not had a running chance down the wing, has he? First half try score of Josh Griffin with the next carry. Keen has mustered these defenders. Pitts. Bedward is one of the defenders. Hood, short ball, turn back inside. Jowett through the line. He's taking the full back on. He's still going, is Max Jai. Quick play of the ball. Luke Gale brings it left with Liam Hood. Matty Ashes with the dummy. Turnover. Great play from Max Jowett. Good support play from Liam Hood, but he couldn't get the ball out. So right, let's keep him here, 18 nil leading. Opening stages of the second half. Good tackle, Liam Hood. Oh, 
Sends him back half a metre. Not playing the ball correctly. They did this at the start of the game. And Trinity scored after the first minute. Throwing it through your legs. Clear signal from referee Liam Rush. Right, couldn't be a better start, could it, this now? Matty Ashurst will play the ball. Liam Hood, as you would have expected, is at acting halfback. Awela with the drive under the posts. Goes to ground eventually, 10 out. Lawford with the dummy. Lost his footing a bit, did uh, young Miles Lawford. Pitts finds Gale after reaching and diving. Maddy Ashurst, no way through. Keen defence again from the uh, Barrow Raiders. Pitts again, now really involved. Dummy from Pitts. Already scored four this year, that's Jay Pitts. Show, Liam, show and go from Liam Hood, he went without the ball. Not this time, Liam, not this time. Barrow back in possession, trailing 18 0. Making with a drive. He's put himself about as a substitute. Sent to Shane Toll. Almost up to the halfway line. Trinity offside late in the tackle count. Poor discipline. Trinity's Jay Pitts just having a word with the physiotherapist. Thumbs up. But in back play, it's Greg, Greg Burke that's having treatment. Referee allows play to go on as Brad Walker finds touch. Restart from Costello. Making again. Smith back to Walker. Short ball into the hands of Max Clark. 12 metres out. Trinity going to have to defend this set. Long ball from Walker. Full back into the line. No, it doesn't get to the full back. Comes back inside. Still tackles remaining for, Bar for Barrow. Short side with John Stern. Thought the momentum was going to take him into the far left corner, but good defence. Franco's there, I can see him. Rain starts to come down rather heavily. Last tackle turns you right on their own goal line. Oh, juggling from Johnson. Walker the kick into this corner. Tipped back inside. Centre goes low and hard, Matt Costello, but good defence, Trinity. And a round of applause for the defence. But Trinity will start this set of six just a metre from their own goal line. It's lashing it down now. Absolutely lashing it down. Holly Pratt with the first drive. And here comes Lachlan Walmsley. Makes a 10 metre line, but that's all. Dummy from Coates, sir. And he's losing ground. He's back inside his own 10 metre zone. Caleb Uela, that's better. Quick play of the ball down the short side. Matty Ashurst. Brad Walker hangs on. He's one of the Barrow defenders. Luke Gale's going to have to kick from inside his own 30 and goes deep. That's good defence on the wing when that's cracking defence from uh, Miles Lawford and uh, Isaiah Van Gennar. Lawford again. Tackle on full back Luke Creswell. Now then, what's that penalty for? Flopping. Easy metres for the visitors. A 
And Barrow will start this set of six inside the Trinity half. No way through for making. Take it back down the short side with Johnston. Fall back into the line, that's Creswell. Going nowhere. Only under a two-man Trinity tackle. Dummy inside from Burke. Chip over from Brad Walker. Max Jarrett's got it covered as he's going to have to take the ball in the goal area. He just gets across the goal line, then he goes into touch. Ramon Silva back on. Still 18 nil. we played just short of 10 minutes of the second period. And six tackles, just 10 metres from the Trinity line. Long pass from Smith finds half-back Johnston. Ball comes back inside. Trinity do defend the first one. Burke turns in the tackle. Liam Hood's played well. Great defence from Trinity's hooker. Walker with the inside ball. Max Clark on the 10 metre line. You've got to score points, but you've got to defend as well, and that's just exactly what Trinity are doing. Johnson with the kick. Franco gathers and is in the in goal there. It'll be a goal line dropout for Trinity. Still no sign of uh, Harvey Smith or Noah Booth. Max Jarrett again getting ready but taking his time. Comes close towards this near touchline side. Tom Wilkinson drives onto the 20, uh, 30 metre line. Silver back from the dugout with his first carry across the 30 metre line. Walker with the short pass, making halfway through the gap. There's only 12 metres out. It's great Trinity defence is this. Hang on, Smith's away from acting half by loses possession. Picked up by Max Jowett. Josh Griffin's first touch in this half, I'm sure it is. Good carry from the back row forward who's today playing in the centre. Sun's out. This is summer rugby now, Andy. Trinity lose the ball. It's been bouncing it down all morning and most of the afternoon, but now the sun's shining. Factor 50 time. Trinity defender. There's in fact there's a there's a rainbow over there, Andy. We'll, come, we'll, we'll do. Shall we do a game or rainbow? Let's do the game, shall we? Greg Burke, 15 out. Trinity's defence certainly being tested. Aaron Smith at acting half back. Brad Walker takes it back to the left with the making. Awela hangs on. Smith, Johnston. Trying the left corner. Coming round towards the post. Max Anderson Moore, the try scorer. 18 points to four. First try of the second period. And we've played 12 minutes. Nice overhead pass. Well, it's been constant pressure almost, hasn't it? And just reward for the visitors.
Danny Kerman in the yellow top sprints on to carry out the instructions to his players. Grouped at the back of the post there. And Ryan Shaw, who I said early in the game, over 1,400 points in his career, left-footed kicker to attempt the conversion. Touch judges' flags go up. Ryan Shaw's converted the try. It's 18 6. Trinity have got a game on. Coaster and is it Van Gennar going off? Renault for Tony coming back on and Josh Bowden coming back on. Those two guys started the game and here we are ready for the restart. Max Jowett goes deep, in fact goes very deep. Oh, I thought the, I think the, the supporters in the North Terrace they thought it gone over the dead ball line, but that's great defence. Pushing the barrel player back into the in goal area, and it'll be Barrow's turn for a goal line dropout. Great defence. Barrow go short with a dropout. That's good inventive play. The winger took the ball, he sent the pass back inside. And from the goal line dropout, Barrow are in possession. So that's something to pick up on and learn from, isn't it? A Tony defending with Liam Hood. Harvey making again drives. Ramon Silva. Back down the short side with Brad Walker. He's gone deep. He's gone straight into the waiting arms of Max Jowett, who returns it at pace. The little skip from Jowett. Ollie Pratt's turn to drive onto the halfway line. Franco's coming from his wing in the pink boats. Plays the ball eventually. This is Josh Bowden, fresh from the dugout. 30 metres out. Slightly less now, because Bowden's been pulled towards the, the, uh, the Barrow line. Dummy inside from Luke Gale. Last tackle, 11 out. Jowett, dummies inside, tackles made, five from the line. Max is playing Equid, the referee, something's gone on. But it's going to be Barrow to play the ball, 18-6, remember, 17 and a half gone on my watch. In the second 40, Greg Burke will play the ball. It's Matt Costello, the centre, with the first drive. Better defence, Trinity. A Tony and Pitts. Pitts again. Silver's not the biggest uh, prop in the game. Something's happened in that. All the Barrow players put their hands up in the air as if something had gone on in the tackle. Referee didn't say anything, and here comes Greg Burke. Hood's low. I mean, a great game is Lane Hood. Unsung hero of the Trinity side. 
Pressure on Brad Walker, but it gets the kick away. Franco gathers it, went straight into his waiting arms. Oh, we're running it. Dummy from Jowett, ducks under the tackle of Tom Wilkinson. Walmsley crosses the halfway line. As I said earlier, no running chances down the wing. That's what I expect from Lachlan Walmsley. Harvey Smith on for Liam Hood. Academy international player, Harvey Smith, straight in at acting halfback, like for like. Bowden from the uh, Luke Gale pass. Renault for Tony. The offload to Coates, uh, nine out. Chance now for Trinity to cement victory. Luke Gale now with ball in hand. This is Max Jowett. Oli Pratt has seen a gap. Oli Pratt has scored. He's held short. Just a hint of a gap opening up there for Oli Pratt. It's a turnover right in the corner, right, right on the barrow line. What a, what a place to turn the ball over. Keep on sight, Trinity. Referee's not happy for some reason. Fullback Cresswell puts his hand up to take the first drive. Where were the forwards? He's won, isn't he? Ramon Phil Silva. Penalty Barrow. Halfway through the second half, 18 points to six. The only score of the second half has gone to the visitors. Barrow will start 10 metres short of the halfway line. Wilkinson with the drive. Tom Walker's back on, he's had a, a head wound bandaged. Brad Walker with ball in hand. Off low half back partner Johnston. Running it wide, Barrow and Trinity's defence have got to shuffle from left to right. Johnson again, this is Silver, Tony goes low. Trinity defenders retreat onto the 10 metre line. Pull back into the line with the dummy. Luke Gale's far too experienced to take that young Luke as well. Brad Walker finds himself at acting halfback. Kick from Johnston into the in goal area. And another goal line dropout. They've not finished, haven't this Barrow side? They haven't come here to lie down, have they? Putting pressure on the Trinity line. Miles Lawford limping on the far side. Barrow does well, Brad Walker does well to keep the ball in play. Silver, Silver again. Fall back into the line again. Max Clark's carried the ball onto the 30 metre line left of centre. Johnson's becoming more involved. Brad Walker kicks again. He's kicked all afternoon, hasn't he? Straight out, straight out. Trinity's ball. 
about 20 metres from their own goal line and on my watch about 17 minutes remaining. Noah Booth is ready to come on. Miles Lawford limping to the far touch line side. And the first carry from Molly Pratt. And here comes Josh Griffin. One of Trinity's first half try scorers. This is Josh Bowden. Carries to the halfway line and across. Despite the two defenders. Makes another five metres, does Josh Bowden. Dummy from Luke Gale, almost through the gap. It was an ankle tap from back up through sort of Wilkinson. Short side, Ashurst. Booth. Still going, is Noah Booth. Still going. Right on the goal line and on the last tackle with the first touch of the ball. They're running at Trinity. Max is going to kick. He's going to take him on. Tries to get Booth to ball. Went to ground. Turn over. Bar Barrow will get possession. It looks as though Noah Booth has gone to full back. He has. And Max Jaitel have gone up to half back. Replacing Miles Lawford. Attacking the short side, Barrow Raiders. Ashes is defending, along with uh, Luke Gale and Ollie Pratt. Taking a knock as a Barrow lad. Josh Wood's back on. He's replaced Aaron Smith, who deputised as hooker, like for like again. Silver this time offloads to Johnson, kick and chase. Noah Bull's got to get back and across. Gathers it at 10 metres from his own goal line. Can't get away from the chasing defenders and Trinity are walking back. Franco's at acting half back. Another that nearly loses his shirt. Trinity have got a game on here, leading 18 points to six. Griffin with a carry. Good carry from Josh Griffin. Ball came loose. Penalty Trinity. Oh, that is a relieving kick. Got all that blue sky up there, Andy. Look, girl to find touch with that relieving kick. About five metres short of the halfway line. Josh Griffin's restarts with the tap and the offload. Jay Pitts again puts his hand up. Penalty was at a high tackle. Put it in the corner. No signal from the referee, not yet. High tackle, there it is. And Gale doesn't quite put it in the corner, but he puts it inside the 30 metre zone. And again, Josh Griffin with the tap and the offload, and Jay Pitts finds. Renault for Tony, 20, 20 metres out. Harvey Smith had acting half back. Dummy from Cosa. 10 out now. Harvey Smith scored at Featherson against Newcastle Thunder. Luke Gale, short ball, Josh Bowden looking for his first try of the season. Two or three metres out. Show and go, maybe Harvey. A Tony in for his Oh, and a dive! And a great dive from Renault for Tony. That should surely seal victory for Trinity. Sponsored by Stephen and Susan Dawson. His second try of the afternoon. It comes 28 minutes into the second half. Great pass. And what a finish. The dive underneath the post. That's how to finish a try, Andy.
spectators on the North Terrace will have enjoyed that one. Time for the referee and the touch judges to take on some liquid. Max Joy has lined up the conversion from right underneath the post. He's already kicked free from three. Make that four from four, as you would have expected. Sponsored by Beat Autism. 24 points to six. Four converted tries. Ryan Shaw to get the game back underway. He's gone short with the kickoff. Holly Pratt's gone through the gap. He's got Lachlan on his right shoulder. Couldn't quite execute that one. And what's the referee giving here? Of course, they can opt to take the scrum down in the centre of the field. If a head and ball, Barrow. Tom Wilkinson's limping badly. The uh, visitors lose forward. Kick and chase again. And that winger Shaw's got pace. He's going to go very close to the touchline. Unlucky Barrow. Unlucky. Good effort. But gifting Trinity with possession. Albeit not far from their own goal line. 24 points to six. We're in the final 10 minutes on my watch. Yeah, Tom Wilkinson's left the field of play. I thought he was limping. And Harvey making his back on. He played well when he came on in the first half. Renew for Tony to play the ball. Lachlan Walmsley yet again. Two try man, Renew for Tony. It's not a long time since the Trinity prop scored a hat trick. I wonder if it's going to be Renew for Tony's turn this afternoon. Quarter final of the AB Sundex 1895 trophy. Victory takes us a step closer to a Wembley appearance. Harvey Smith at acting halfback. Short side with skipper Matthias Schurst. Pushes away one. Across the halfway line goes Tash. Good run from Trinity skipper. Luke Gale wants it wide. Luke Gale gets it wide. Here comes a Tony. Stopped in his tracks. So no for Tony. Quick play of the ball, Harvey Smith kicks and chase for Romain Franco. It's gone too deep, it's gone into touch. But only about 10 metres from the Barrow line. Barrow will reach that 10 metres from their own line, right underneath the post. Silver will play the ball. Josh Wood, the former Trinity man, is acting halfback. Shane Toll is gathers the ball and then he's bundled back well inside the 10 metre zone. Wood brings it back to the right. Tom Walker with the drive. Silver with the next drive. Josh Wood away from acting half back. Copy book tackle from Renew for Tony. Kick and chase a little chip over from Brad Walker. Wilkinson's is just nudged out of the way, is he from by Max Jarrett? Three on one. Brad, 
Bad of a chance over that far left side. That wing is in for his second of the afternoon, I do believe. Seven minutes remaining on my watch. Not over yet. Well, they're fighting to the bitter end of the visitors. Two tries for Anderson Moore. I think he's been injured as well in scoring the try. Receiving treatment in the Ingall area. Back on his feet, and the goal kicker's right on the touch line side, Ryan Shaw. Couldn't be much closer to the touch line, could he? Ryan Shaw's conversion attempt, here it goes. Let's see what the touch judges are doing. He's kicked it. Wow, what a kick. Still two scores between the sides. One thousand eight hundred and nine spectators. <coughs> and Barrow are back in possession. Never give up off Barrow. I personally think after what Trinity have done over the last month or so, Barrow will go away quite happy from this. I feel sure they will. Tom Walker drives. And Harvey Smith defends with Drew Nufatoni. That's good defence from Jay Pitts. He's got to be close getting the man of the match award is Jay Pitts. If there is one, that is. Kick and chase again. Noah Booth comes across 10 metres in from this touchline side. No way through for the youngster. Renault for Tony is being replaced by Caleb Uela. Carry from Walmsley again. <laughs> Spectators think that should have been a Trinity penalty. The referee doesn't think so as Josh Griffin drives. Ten short of the half time, half halfway line. Penalty for Trinity. The ball was knocked out of Josh Griffin's hands by scrum half Ryan Johnston. Kick to touch from Luke Gale. Back to the opposition, no way that Uela could get that pass out. Dummy from Harvey Smith, still going Harvey Smith. Great little run from the hooker. What a great try that is. Oh, he's like, he loves that one, does Harvey Smith. Sponsored by Alison Home and Garden Centre. His second of the season. 28 points to 12, kick to come. Great try. I wonder if Liam Hood's watching on. A hint of a gap, that's all he needed. And then pace, and then another dive. They've been practicing these dives.
He'll have enjoyed that, will the hooker, the youngster. So Trinity will progress to the semi-final of the AB Sundex 1895 Cup. They will travel to either Bradford Bulls or Swinton Lions. Just a reminder that that game will be over the weekend of the 11th and 12th of May. Plenty of rugby to play, of course, and thanks for joining Andy and myself, TC. We'll be at Featherston next weekend for the Challenge Cup. That'll be another toughie, another test of our Darrell Powell's side. It's been a test of this afternoon, hasn't it? But Max Joyce has already kicked four from four. Can he keep that 100% record going for the second, second match in a week? Yeah, of course he can. Sponsored by Beat Autism, 30 points to 12. Twelve, twelve in the second half, 12 apiece. Into stoppage time on my watch. Ryan Shaw's gone short again. Jay Pitts, man of the match. I've got one right for one, Sandy. Well done, Pete. Say. Luke Gale chatting away, <laughs> chatting away with Brad Walker. As the players prepare to go down into the scrum 30 metres from Trinity's line. And the final hooter goes here at the DIY Kitchen Stadium. The quarter final of the AB Sundex 1895 trophy goes to Wakefield Trinity. They've beaten Barrow Raiders by 30 points to 12, but it was a dour second half with Barrow never giving up and scoring two converted tries. The second one right from the touchline side, but in between, Renouffer Tony crashed over from a good pass, dived underneath the post and jow it goal. And then as we're approaching the end of the game, little Harvey Smith on from the dugout, went scampering away from acting half-back, through the defenders, dived over midway between the right post and the far right touchline side. And Max Jowett converted five from five in the afternoon. 1,809 spectators have seen another victory for Trinity. They've beaten the Barrow Raiders here at the DIY Kitchen Stadium by 30 points to 12. Today's 